Hi everyone. I've never been good at fishing, so I made this automatic fishing rod, which uses computer vision to detect a catch and automatically reel itself in. I've never caught a fish in my life, except for this one. By building this rod, I may actually be able to catch a real fish for once. I first 3D printed the case, after which I painted the text black with a marker. For this project, I'll be using this Raspberry Pi Zero 2W with the camera and battery and some other components like the charge controller and some buttons. Then I spot welded the terminals onto the battery cell. After that, I solder everything together. After I had connected everything together, I screwed on the lid with some screws. This case isn't going to be waterproof, so I need to be careful not to drop it into the water, otherwise the electronics are going to be cooked. Then I installed the real mechanism and the servo and attached the whole thing to this fishing rod with these 3D printed brackets. Then I put on the programming socks and made this program in Python which uses object detection to detect a catch. I added this fishing line to this reel right here. I also added this bobber right here as well as this fishing hook. Like this, and it just reels it back in, and then the program restarts. So I came out here to the lake early in the morning because it's so calm outside right now, and I think the fish are the most active this time of day. And this is actually the place where I tested my RC boat in my very first video. And it looks like since then someone's forgotten their boat right there. I think it's abandoned. It's like half filled with water. And I brought the automatic fishing rod with me. It's easily transported like that on my backpack. And yeah, let's get everything set up. So to set up the fishing rod I simply pull this open right here. This is like a telescopic mechanism. And as you can see it just opens like this. And it's basically now ready. And then we simply turn it on. Like this. So I made the standard of this piece of wood which I drilled a hole into. And it looks a bit sketchy because it's so close to the water. But uh, the friction holds it in pretty good. So let's hope it doesn't fall into the water. So I set up the fishing rod right here. And for the bait, I'll use this sausage. Because I didn't find any worms in the ground, because it's been so dry lately. So the fish, if they don't eat this, they'll starve, I guess. So I'll just place this little piece right here on the hook. So to start this thing, I simply press this button right here. And it twills it out. And when I press it again, it activates the object tracking, as you can see right here. And now I'll demonstrate how it works by dragging this bobber under the water with a stick, like this. And it just drills it out of the water and it will work the same way if there's a fish. And now let's start it again, but this time I think I'll wait like half an hour and see if I get any fish. And now it's armed. I guess I technically have to have a fishing permit for this in Finland. But there's no one around here. And I doubt the police are gonna 
bring me, me to prison over this. So let's hope they don't come knocking on my door. So it's been like half an hour now and nothing. The fish are broken. I'm sure the machine works, but the fish are not cooperating today. See, it would have worked if a fish would have taken it. But I think this machine is a good proof of concept. And I think I could get it to work with maybe some better bait and a better fishing place or time. And next I think I'll probably have to put some ketchup on the bait if the fish didn't want this. Maybe they wanted some ketchup with it. So I have some ketchup right here. And I'll just put some on this. Like this. And now let's see if it works any better. Oh, I got, I think I got something big. What is this? Swedish fish, how is that possible? This is Finland. I think I'll have to throw that back. You. I also tried going to different spots to see if there were any fish there, but I had no luck. I think this device worked really well, but the fish were just not cooperating with me today. This was an interesting project for me to make, and I learned a lot. In the future, I may just stay within my own domain of building machines, because I clearly suck at fishing, and the fish hate me. In the future, I may build a drone object detection system with the skills I learned from this project. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, press the thumbs up button and subscribe. Have a nice day.